In addition to the jobs and services, national monuments and memorials will be barricaded if lawmakers don't come to some kind of agreement. Ross Plater continues our live coverage tonight from Capitol Hill. Ross. Well, Leon, the Park Service says it has barricades and closure signs ready, but nothing will actually be put in place until after midnight when it's clear there is no deal or no deal imminent. And as you can imagine, with all this uncertainty in the air, the National Mall was packed with visitors tonight. The Lincoln Memorial is one of the most popular monuments in D.C., especially at night, usually open 24 hours. But it was the threat of a government shutdown that brought this Alexandria couple out tonight. My husband and I tonight just packed a picnic and had dinner in a park, and we won't be able to do that tomorrow night or the next night. The looming deadline prompted the Seattle couple to get all their sightseeing done today. We went to all the Smithsonian museums because uh, there's a good chance they won't be open tomorrow, and then we actually got into the very last tour of the Capitol this afternoon. This is our, really our first full day here all week, but we wanted to make sure that we saw it just in case it's not going to be open for a while. The National Park Service says a shutdown would mean all 401 of its parks, facilities, and monuments would be closed. The Smithsonian Museums along the National Mall would also be closed. This is what it looked like during the last government shutdown in 1995, and unless there is an 11th hour deal, it could look like this again. The public is hoping cooler heads will prevail. I encourage them to work together. That's what we elected them to do, is to work together as a unified front to run our country. It's politics, and uh, this is what they do. This is nothing new. So I just think that it isn't about one against the other, per se. It's, it's a, they have an agenda. We're the, the chess piece. You know, and that's a, that's the unfortunate part. We're told once they get the go ahead, they will start at the Lincoln Memorial and work their way down the mall with those closures. That is once they get the go ahead. No time frame for that as of yet, but it does not look good in terms of whether or not we'll have a shutdown. For now, we're live on Capitol Hill. I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News. Uh -huh.